Eno player. Very, very excited to see it. which one of these two comes out on top because, man, both these players know exactly what to do with their characters. And it's all about who can get it started. I feel like the Enos have been slowly disappearing over time. So I've only decided when I see someone who stuck their to their guns with this character, mm -hmm. or maybe I should say to their guitars. Yeah. <laughs> really cool, well-designed character. Just, you know, not the best in the current meta. He's so bad guy. Maybe a little bit better, but we'll see. To a, a little bit. bit. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, but at this point, this many years uh, into the game's lifespan, although we are getting a lot of active uh, updates and, and changes, new moves, we saw Potemkin using his new move uh, pretty pretty solidly uh, just to find a way in. Still, at the end of the day, you kind of know what this character's going to be doing. You're going to see Soul going to be using Far Slash, right? As per usual. Oh, great answer to catch the... Air Dash in JH, and now we're trying to play at this mid range where Eno needs to get her pressure start. Okay, we're going low. What's the mix? We're going high. High low. Ooh, punishing that DP as well. Yeah, you have to be so careful against that high low mix that Ticklebar has in neutral because there is a range at which Leaf Blade can't really threaten you, and you sort of get to just press buttons on him and <laughs> make him guess for game a little bit. I mean, like, Soul can always try to find a way out. He does have a, a meterless reversal uh, on DP, so every Oki situation is going to be a little scary. You got to practice your safe jumps. You just got to go for the read. Ooh. But when you have some way to stroke the tree and just get right under there, it's like, in, in a way, it's just a really fast, you know, Night Raid Vortex. Uh, then it hurts. Oh. Ooh, they're going to trade the area. There's the 5K. Got to use that three frame when you can. That was a wild air trade. Ooh, the Gunflame Bait into a Fafnir going double low here. Again, the Gunflame Bait into Fafnir. I love these BD Fafnirs. We're going to see a 6P for Tickly Mauer to fight their way out. But Leaf Blade is right back in. Great aerial conversion with that Red RC as well. Wall Splat into Wild Assault. Leaf Blade loves those plus frame setups. Even if you don't get the damage immediately. Oh! oh reversal! Super! Right on that 6S. YRC to push back. Leaf Blade just needs one more hit, and the 2S is going to do it. Yeah, you have to be so careful in that situation. Tookamore had an opportunity, but Leaf Blade using those resources super well with the RyRC to reverse it, keep things from getting out of hand. But now Tickamore has their own opportunity with the wall break. Uh-huh. Wild Assault for Knockdown. What's okay going to be? We're going high. Oh, Ooh, high great into the low. Catch that air of that dash back as well. Both these players tend to use uh, dash back a lot to try to be out these okay situations on wake up. But oh, great jump burst punish here. Red RC into wall spot. This should do it. I'll take Lee Mauer with the first game. I also love the way Tickle Me Mauer is just going for those strokes. If it doesn't work out, I've got resources. I'm going to RC. I'm going to try again. And just it's the rinse and repeat of pressure. Not so focused on the high damage combos with those RCs. More focused on creating openings and giving themselves the opportunity to try over and over. Oh my goodness. The 6P on the Fafnir to reset. And this is, again, the 6P on the gun frame faint, too. Tickly Mauer loves his 6P here in disadvantage to fight your way out of situations. That is great character knowledge. Yes, it is. But speaking of character knowledge, Leaf Blade using these setups so well. Things like that, the way she gets conversions and gets so much damage off of every single opening. All right, we got a knockdown here. Air Dash in with the JH. Go low here as well. Keep it with the Gunflame Faint. We're going to go for a 5P as well. Finally, Far Slash connects. We've a Red RC. No burst. Try to wait out the burst a little bit, but nope. Tickly Mauer will not drop the burst there. And Leaf Blade takes the first round. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I'm talking about. She is so tight with her confirms. When she gets an opening, she goes all the way, pushing Tickle Me More once again into the corner. This time, able to answer out, though. Oh, okay. I see some pushback there on the projectile just to keep Tickle Me More away. This is chipping away a little bit at meter. All right, your health. We put now an opening has been created. There's the backdash again on Tickle Me high, but still keeps the pressure with the low in cash. Sleep play. Nonetheless, stroke the tree. It's a wall break. It's not enough to take it, but we are close. I like that option select, too. If you get the oh. hit, you get a combo. <laughs> okay, yeah. If you get a hit with that stroke the tree, you get a combo. And if you don't, you just RC out of it safely. Either way, it's the same input, and then you just react to what you got. Yeah, I like the dive kick into just dash forward. I mean, you still have your block, so we, even though the 5k went out, uh, Tilly Mount was able to block him, and Leaf Blade got a big conversion after. Oh, no, the DP is not going to be punished here. And Leaf Blade chilling with the life lead right now. Oh, it's a and the reversal super! Oh no, the 6S wasn't hit punishing in time! And we actually see Tickling Mauer get out with the 6P, but Leaf Blade's still able to land the conversion afterwards. Again, another 6P to find out. Yeah, that was a great side switch. However, Tickling Mauer getting better at recognizing Leaf Blade's habits in the corner and getting out of those situations. For the first game, it felt like if Leaf Blade got you in the corner, you were dead! But this time, it goes the other way around, and Tickle Me Mauer 
taking another game. That was a crazy Oki setup where he had active frames right as a meaty, but since DP had in for Ryze is so often for DP, we get a reversal super of Tickle Mauer instead. Buffer through to end up being the DP and actually taking that round. That was insane. Absolutely. And the counter hit combos. Starting it off strong from Leaf Blade. Let's see what you can do in the corner. I like the idea. However, <laughs> oh my goodness. Bandit Bigger, open it, open it, it. So it works. The shimmy. All right, we'll reset here again. Bandit Bigger yet again, but this time the heavy slash from Leaf Blade to try and push so away the PRC port into Aerial DP. No matter what I need, my invincibility. And finally, a couple JPs will do it. Absolutely. And now Leaf Blade has the momentum, which they desperately oh, need right now. Oh, the whiffs, though. Now, Tommy Mauer gets a solid punish. We're going coast to coast here from one end of the screen to the other. Breaking here on the right side. Where are we headed next? Tickleby Mauer is just so good at getting out of the corner against Leaf Blade. I don't know how he does it, but somehow the pattern recognition and then, like you said, the conversions to convert all the way into the wall breaks on the opposite side. Uh -huh. Leaf Blade's pressure getting a little antsy here now. Going for uh, standard strings into Wild Assault twice in a row. Expending all of your burst. The Tickling Mauer is completely unfazed. Turning things right around, getting a knockdown again. A backdash is not going to be caught this time, but Leaf Blade tries to air dash over the super and doesn't get out. Tickle Me Mauer just had so much tension gauge to play with. Getting two positive bonuses in one round is obscene. <laughs> oh, but this counter hit 6S is going to hurt. Oh, no, the DP doesn't connect. And Tickle Me Mauer turns everything right back around. Oh, again, sniping here with the low. Now we're going high. Right back to low. Wall splat. Wow, it's all for knockdown. Is Absolutely. this the final mix here? Can Tickly Mauer actually take it? Starting high into Aerial Super. Lifts a high and gets a comeback round Super. What oh, a mix. Wow. I got hit. I got hit. Oh, yeah. You got hit. I got hit. We all got hit. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh, my goodness. What a, what a final round. Ah, speaking of quick 3-0, man. Yeah. <laughs>